This is a clay triangle. It's a piece of laboratory equipment. It's used to support a crucible. It can be heated over a Bunsen burner. It is made of wires and clay. This is a crucible. When you pick it up, you want to use That's these perfect. tongs because otherwise you'll burn yourself as a crucible is usually hot. It has a cap on it and it is used to cover the material while it is under or over the flame. You put materials in it and you mix them up with other materials to heat them up for your experiments. They range from $15 to $20. This is a ring stand. It is used in chemistry to hold other things. Like, you can move it up and down to so adjust. So you have a really large flame. This is a Bunsen burner. It produces a single open gas flame, which is used for heating, sterilization, and combustion. It's named after Robert Bunsen, because of his innovation of burning stands for the University of Heidelberg. It was the first stand to generate a hot, sootless, non-aluminous flame by mixing the gas with air in a controlled fashion before combustion. Now we will show you how to put all four pieces together and use them properly. First, you will turn on the gas. Gas activated. Now you will turn on the Bunsen burner to allow the gas to come through the flame, or come through the Bunsen burner. Then you will light a match, make sure it's lit. You approach the top and the flame is lit and you can adjust oxygen levels by twisting the Bunsen burner to give you more or less oxygen how you desire. Now the bottom of the Bunsen burner should be red and that is normal, that means it is being appropriately lit. Lit and you want to remove your crucible, you will use the tongs to get the crucible off the hot flame and be aware that you do not remove the crucible with your hands. I've done that before. It's very hot. You use the tongs like that and to set it down safely. Turn off your Bunsen burner and disassemble your set. You will turn it left to suck the oxygen. And then you'll turn off the Bunsen burner on the bottom to make sure that it is cut off. And then you will turn the gas off, and it is all disassembled.